Hi Grizzly families, I'm Ms. Vasquez. I am one of the math teachers here at Galena. This year I teach geometry, algebra two honors, trigonometry with pre-calculus, and I'm also the leadership teacher. I'm happy to be talking to you about the course that your student is in. We're gonna be talking about algebra two honors and how their grades will be broken down this year. 10% of their grade being assignments, and these assignments are things that I post on Teams and they're usually practice from the previous class that I had them in person. So anything that is posted on Teams, they would take a picture of their work, upload their work on there, and then I can see it on my end and grade it from there. If they ever have any issues turning in things on Teams, they could always just email it to me. That works perfectly fine. We also have quizzes, which are 15% of their grade, and quizzes will cover a few sections, either one or two sections of stuff we've already been through uh, in class. Quizzes are not something that students can retake, so to help with that we recommend some problems to look over in the homework. There may be a warm-up that we do before the quiz, but this really gives us an idea of what students still need help understanding so that we can help them before they take their assessments. And assessments are 60% of their grade, so that's the biggest part of their grade. Assessments will cover several sections, so it's usually a unit test, and these unit tests happen about once a month. It just depends on how long it takes us to get through the chapter. Lastly is the final exam, and for Algebra 2 honors, we do have a district exam, and this exam covers the entire semester and will be given the last few weeks of December before they go off to winter break. We recommend that students purchase their own calculator. Uh, it's gonna be a TI-84 plus, the color edition, or uh, just the TI-84. These are approximately $100, so they are expensive, um, but if they plan on going on to trigonometry or calculus in the future, this calculator will be really helpful for them, okay? We unfortunately do not have a class set this year because we're not allowed to share um, calculators and other items that several students will be touching. If there ever is a need for calculators in class, like we absolutely need to use a graphing calculator, I do have a set and what I will probably do is give them a Ziploc bag, put the calculator in there, that way there's no excessive touching of the same item between classes. But if students could get a calculator, um, I highly recommend that. So what it looks like when we are in class, we will be doing some guided notes and practice problems. And we practice in class, I answer any questions that they may have. And then when they are online, I will give them additional practice and this is when they should be doing their homework assignment on Teams. When class is canceled on, we've had the, the virtual days, um, multiple days in a row, I will go ahead and upload a video of me teaching the lesson and then they will again work on those practice problems on their own. I'm always here. If any of you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me. My email is on here, pvasquez-garcia at washoschools.net. Your students are always welcome to email me as well, or they also have the option of sending me a chat on Teams. There's a tab for them to ask questions, um, and I can get back to them as soon as I'm able. Thanks for watching.